Alright guys, here's my gear update video. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. I've just been kind of busy and stuff. And so, I finally got, I have a whole bunch of stuff to show. So, I'll get right to it. So, this is just a black t-shirt. I've already, I already owned a black t-shirt before the gear update video. But I decided just to put it in because it's newly a part of my impression. I'm doing the 187th Rockassants. And those guys were known for wearing black t-shirts either as an undershirt or as an just by itself so uh, I wanted to include that um, this is just a tank top or a makeshift tank top I just cut the sleeves off some Walmart green shirt t bleh, green t-shirt um, yeah nothing to it uh, these are just my uh, bandanas this is just an old t-shirt it's coming off as like a tan color but it's really kind of like a very um, faded green this is just a bandana and then this is an actually a um, a bandage, a head bandage, I want to say. It was uh, 73 dated, and it was in like a package or like a wrapping. And um, I decided just to cut it open and use it as a bandana. That's something guys would do. Um, I watched this documentary on it, or not specifically on it. They mentioned it in a documentary. It was about um, the 187th and just um, their operations or whatever. But uh, yeah, I thought that was interesting, and that was kind of the only reason why I opened it up. And there was one guy selling one for like 20 bucks, so I figured might as well just open one I've already had. But um, yeah, there's that. Uh, this is just another green t-shirt. Yeah, I'm really digging this one. It's kind of correct. It's like, you know, the correct color and all that. I want to say the color isn't correct, but, you know, who cares? There's that. It's a towel. I don't know if I showed this. I don't believe I've showed this. This is just a green towel. Um, yeah, it looks pretty Vietnamish. What's that? Here's my dog tags. I bought the um, correct green, not green. I bought the correct tape used in Vietnam. I think it's called like Pro Graffler tape or something like that. Um, it's a real good piece. It's a real good tape. Bleh. It's some really good tape. Um, and it doesn't leave like a sticky residue on your like stuff, so I like that. I also put a bullet on my dog tags and a P38. So yeah, there's that. Uh, here's my uniform. It's pretty much the only real differences of this uniform is um, I put a spoon. The spoon actually came with the uh, rucksack I bought a while ago. Uh, I put sergeant ranks on the collar, and then I put 101st. I found out that um, I actually sewed this with black thread, and then I found out that they actually used white thread, and the example I saw was kind of like half-ass looking, and so I just, you know, did white, I double threaded pretty much, and it's on there pretty good, so I'm happy how it came out. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the uniform, nothing new, just I have pants. Um, not sure if I showed the black belt, this is a black belt. Um, turns out that black belts were actually used in the army, so that was pretty cool. They used OD green and black, so that's cool. Um, here's all my new sh like helmet related stuff. Um, this helmet I bought from that gun store. Well, um, not, well, the helmet itself, not the liner and the helmet cover. I've already owned those. I just put those in there. Um, but the helmet is kind of all rusted to shit. And um, I didn't spend too much money on it. I spent 50 bucks, and it came with um, this liner. I thought this was a World War II liner, um, but I'll get to that in a second. Yeah, this is just all rusted as shit. Um, honestly, it's just gonna be like um, it's honestly gonna just be. It's just gonna have like a helmet cover on it. You know, I might restore it, um, but as for now, I'm just gonna leave it like that. This is just another helmet I bought. Um, I paid, I think, about 30 bucks for this. Uh, it came with another liner, which I'll be showing here in a few. Um, but yeah, this is the helmet I was... This helmet, I thought, was actually a World War II helmet. It's actually a French helmet. Or, yeah, it's, it's a French helmet. I already said that in my previous video. But uh, the liner, I thought, it was a World War II liner. But it's all it goes to this helmet. So that kind of sucks. Um, that really kind of fooled me. Um, I'm thinking about cutting, or I'm thinking about sewing these straps and putting them on this helmet. 
and uh, putting like a World War II um, Pacific Theater cover on this helmet, but that's kind of up in the air. Um, there's that. Here's, uh, I've already showed this helmet off. This is my Marine helmet, you know. Um, there's that. I don't know if I, I don't know when I showed it, it had beads on it, but I just put like a bead necklace on there and uh, a feather. Nothing real too different. Um, the major difference is this fucking uh, helmet liner. I restored this helmet liner. I bought a nap strap, I think that's what it's called. Um, this is 60, I think 69 dated or something like that. And uh, I put a new sweatband. The old sweatband was just rusted to shit and it was just in terrible condition. So um, yeah, I cleaned this up and it came out really well. So I only paid 20 bucks or 25 bucks for this liner. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, next thing is Jungle First Aid. Bought from that gun store. It actually comes with uh, the stuff in it. Let's see, I think there's like water purification in there. I don't know what the other um, pill thing is. But yeah, I paid I think about 30 bucks for that. Actually, maybe a little less, like maybe around the $20 range. But that's real cool. Um, this is actually a um, Viet Cong bandolier. It can, it's the exact size. It's very, very like hard to put mags in at first, but it's barely the exact size of a, of a 20 round mag. And um, I've seen photos of guys using these, and I think the main reason why guys would use these is because you could carry 10 rounds or 10 mags instead of seven. So um, that's real cool. And also, I think they're kind of um, made a little better, you know, compared to just like the cloth bandolier where your mags would probably slip out. But uh, yeah, um, my friend gave this to me. Um, I let him borrow it, and then he kind of gave it back. He gave it back to me. So that's probably why. That's the reason why I haven't really showed it off yet. Um, but yeah, there's that. There's a Claymore bag. Uh, these are bitches to find, and um, there's the, people sell on eBay like the post-war ones a lot. I want to say the post-war ones are actually two different shades of green. And um, the Vietnam ones are all just one shade of green. But um, I don't really have anything in here. I just kind of have, like, um, extra gear. You know, like a belt and, like, socks or whatever. Just kind of just to fill it up, make it look full. But uh, there's the clean warm bag. Um, oops, sorry about that. This is pretty much like an updated uh, update on the sleeveless jacket. Um, nothing too different. Just have grenade pins. Uh, I can't think of the name of this metal. It's like the, it's like a rifleman something. I can't recall. Um, so sorry about that. Um, I dirtied this uniform up a fuck ton. I used um, hair pomade to make it look um, very worn out, and it looks really good. So yeah, I just kind of put hair pomade in certain areas. And like in the corners of the jacket, you know, or I mean the corners of the pocket. And I did the same thing to the pants, which I guess I'll show. See, there's the pants. Uh, I just did it in certain areas where, um, you know, you'd, you'd get dirty, you know. And um, yeah, it looks pretty realistic. Um, I was actually thinking about just painting on mud, but um, yeah, the paint I have that. I have on me isn't like uh, good enough paint and doesn't stick to uh, cloth so I just used fucking hair pomade and dirt and came out pretty well um what else here's my bandolier I've already I, yeah I'm, I've already showed this bandolier uh, the only real difference is I saw a photo of a guy and he actually had a first aid on it you know so I thought that was pretty cool um, next thing is my flashlight uh, it works. Barely works. Um, it doesn't work here, but it only works with the button. Let's see. Yeah, I paid like I think 10 bucks for that. Um, this came from the gun store, or my second trip to the gun store. I really don't know what this is. I want to say this holds ammunition. Um, I watched the Pacific recently, and um, one of the main, I believe, um, Sledgehammer, I think that's a, that guy's name. 
he was actually wearing one of these and so I don't really know what they hold it might be um, ammo it might be I don't know extra supplies um, please let me know there's no markings on it so I can't really figure it out um, yeah there's like I guess graffiti I don't know if this is just stamped on there or some guy wrote on it but um, Jesus saves GR stamps um, don't know what that means uh, so if anyone knows just let me know um, major update is this lightweight rucksack actually I'll take this helmet off uh, I'll show this helmet off in a second but um, this is the lightweight rucksack um, I bought I got all this all the straps came in for it and so you know I kind of sized it up to me and it was a real pain in the ass but yeah here's the repro straps um, I'm pretty happy how it came out I bought a um, I think a bedroll for it and so that should be coming in probably tomorrow um, I got a shovel from that uh, that dude at the gun store bought a shovel from him I just put my canteens here this bandolier has two airsoft mags so it gives it kind of like a realistic weight to it and the two airsoft mags are broken so they're honestly just in there for looks and um, the rest is cardboard as you can tell um, and then I have an ammo can I bought that for the rucksack um, what else that might actually be it um, oh this is just a um, this is a bag for the poncho I actually have a poncho in it and um, it kind of smells funny it's really weird it smells kind of goofy real chemical-ish so I just kind of keep it in there um, I need to tape up this hole I'm actually going to use this um, period correct tape. This is the same tape they used in Vietnam. Um, like same brand, same look, and so on. It kind of It's kind of like a cool little detail piece, you know, to apply to your gear. and Yeah, but yeah this is the rucksack. I'm pretty happy how it came out. And um, I might, you know, I might shoot more videos with it or something like that. But uh, yeah, uh, here's my helmet. Um, yeah, this is my 187th Rockassance helmet. Pretty happy how it came out. I copied this graffiti from a real famous photo of a guy shooting an early war M16A1, or just M16, I guess. And, uh, yeah. I, there was only one really clear photo of the dude, and, um, I found out that he had a calendar on the side of his helmet. So, yeah. Um, yeah, calendar, Mr. Going Home. He just had some random shit written on there. So I kind of just copied that. He's from California. Um, I put BTAB, so blood type, AB positive. I put the positive, but it's kind of a pain in the show. Um, what else? I traced the, the leaf pattern. This is actually a repro. Um... This repro is actually very well made. The only issue is um, these, uh, I can't think of the fucking name for this. I'm, I don't even think there is a name. But this part of the camo looked like dog shit. And so, I, you know, tracing it actually made it look a little bit more better. But other than that, it's like the correct green. It's the correct leaves. The only thing was that this looks like dog shit. These brown, uh, these brown pieces here. So tracing it kind of hit it and it looks way better. Um, this is just a, this was actually an after war helmet band. It had cat eyes on it. I cut them off and I thought it was really interesting was that it actually had the, um, stamping, um, you know, band helmet camouflage US. And so I thought that was real cool. Um, this is my paratrooper helmet. I don't know if you guys, I don't believe I said that. Um, actually I'll just go over this graffiti part. Um, this is my last name. Middle name, first name, and then 3rd Battalion, 187th, Rockassance. I've seen about five or six photos of um, Rockassance, and they actually had um, their symbol graffitied on their helmet. So I did that. It's a cool little detail piece. I don't think there's anything else. I mostly only traced the um, camo on the front of the helmet, because, um, you know, if you think about it, like, say an enemy sees you, um, this is just really what they're going to be seeing. Um, I don't know. That's just something I did. 
Um, I put a paratrooper liner because I want to say the Rocky Sounds were issued paratrooper liners. I'm pretty sure. I know the 187th was, and I'm pretty sure the 101st was. Uh, yeah, this is my paratrooper liner. Um, this is actually, I want to say, like an in 72, not 72 dated, like probably 78 dated helmet liner or something like that. It's post war, but I pretty much dressed it up to make it look like Vietnam. Uh, this is a brand new helmet band, or a sweatband, I mean. And it's, um, it is 70 dated, I believe. It's a real pain in the ass to show. See, 1970. And then I want to say this is actually 72 dated. Um, nap strap or whatever the hell it's called. Neck strap. Um, yeah, I pretty much just kind of cleaned this helmet up. Super rusted. Um, I'll show, uh, some of the straps are just super rusted. So, the helmet... The sweatband was super gunky, replaced it, and it didn't have one of these, and this buckle was super rusted, and so I cleaned both of them up, and I just put this here to kind of hide it. Um, but yeah, and I also bought this. It didn't come with this um, neck, um, neck strap thing. It didn't come with that. And um, the thing about, because um, the helmet, I already actually had this helmet, um, and it actually came with paratrooper um, what's it called I can't think of the name I guess paratrooper paratrooper helmet straps um, and you know how I know is they have these little um, these buttons and they hook onto the liner um, this one's broken which sucks so I kind of just have it hanging out but this one's kind of hanging on so you know I just have that one in there um, I saw this video of this guy, he's just going up, and he was going over all, he had like a huge paratrooper helmet collection, and uh, one of his helmets actually had original Vietnam tape um, on the helmet, and he taped, the guy taped like the buckle, and um, just to keep these out, I guess, on the, sh the helmet, um, sorry if I sound retarded, uh, I'm really tired, so um, yeah, there's that, but yeah, he, t he taped that, and um, yeah, that's pretty much the fucking helmet. Uh, nothing new. Um, yeah, there's a toothbrush on there. Yeah, nothing new about the helmet. Um, what else? Uh, this helmet looks super fucking worn out. Did a little bit more work on it. And it looks honestly pretty original. I'm pretty sure a good amount of people would think it's original. Whoops, just by, I guess, looking at it. Um, I'm pretty sure only real pros would be able to tell that it's fake. Uh, only really new thing is I bought some dummy rounds. These are the correct rounds for the M60. And so I just kind of have them on there. Um, and then I just have like a, a bandolier. This bandolier holds just bullets. Um, M16 bullets. And it's 66 dated. Um, I thought it was actually a 7 round bandolier. You know like um, one that would carry like M16 mags, um, but I only paid like six bucks for it, so I don't know. I should have looked at it more, but you know, that's just me. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Um, I bought some C rations. Um, this guy at like an antique store local to me, he had an entire fucking case of C rations. I think he has like 12 of them, and I bought two of them. I think they were like 60 bucks each. And he actually had like a bunch of cans hanging out. And so I went through a bunch of those cans and um fucking I just lost my trade trade of thought. I went through a bunch of cans and I picked out the best looking ones. I think he actually opened up one of them and decided to sell it like individually. Um but yeah, these are all like B1. This is a B3 unit, you know, B1. Um cake roll. Yeah, P38. I bought this at the uh, gun store. This is um, some burnt lotion. It actually has the lotion in it, um, which was really funny. Um, I just have this one kind of in a bag because it's sort of in bad condition. Um, yeah, the cigarettes and stuff is all in here. Um, kind of a pain to show. Yeah, spoon, cigarettes, and all that. Real cool. Um, real happy with them. I'm probably going to buy more of them. And, um, yeah, guys, this is pretty much just my gear update. Um, yeah, sorry for not making a video on my gear in a long-ass time. 
but uh, yeah, I'll make another video on my impression just alone. And um, yeah, guys, see ya.